devil's lettuce, doja, chronic, and reefer, all slang terms for what is better known as marijuana. When I was younger, I grew up around marijuana quite a bit through friends and family that used it for recreational purposes. All I knew was that it gave people the munchies, which is better known as increased appetite. Um, the way that it kind of opened up to me and the way I found out more information about this is when I had to use it for medical purposes. And slowly but surely, our country is legalizing recreational use for marijuana. So I feel like it is in everyone's best interest to learn the basics of marijuana. So today I'm going to inform you about the different strains. And the first one I'm going to be talking about is sativa. The second one I'm going to be informing you about is indica. And last but not least, hybrid, hybrid strains. So let's stop, first start off with sativa which is um, more of a head high, energized feeling and most associated with the munchies or increased appetite. And I reviewed a medical marijuana um, documentary by, provided by the SC Labs, which is the national leader in cannabis science and one of the first institutions to promote cannabis safety. And what I found is that it has more uplifting effects along with creative, and um, compared to other strains, it gives you more of a focused um, high. So um, it is proven that sativas help with symptoms of depression, fatigue, and mood swings, uh, stated by Dr. Bailey Ron, and he provided this information on a website called Leafly. If you are unfamiliar with Leafly, it is one of the most or the largest informational resources to help consumers pick the correct and proper strain for them. And um, I have a lot of friends that are artists, whether that be dancers, music producers, or painters, and they have all told me that they do smoke sativas or consume them in other ways to help their creative processes. So not everyone enjoys the effects of sativa, and so we're gonna move on to the effects of indica, and maybe that is more suited for you. So um, indica is the complete opposite of sativa, like day and night, hot and cold, yin and yang. And as a claim by SC Labs, it um, in their article, Cannabis Sativa versus Cannabis Indica, it is more of a body high rather than head high, as we just talked about for sativa gives you more of a lethargic feeling and you may find yourself sitting on the couch having deep intellectual thoughts. Um, so it is proven to help with symptoms of anxiety, insomnia, and even pain relief, stated by Dr. Bailey Braun. And um, about two years ago, I was in a pretty bad car accident and I dislocated both my hips. And since then, I have had reoccurring um, sharp, burning, and achy pain in my hips and uh, one of the only things that has really helped relieve that pain is consuming um, edibles uh, indica marijuana infused edibles and um, when i do pick an edible i have to be able or i have to make sure that it is high cbd and low thc and thc is the component in marijuana that gives you a high and cbd is um, the component in marijuana that is for pain relief that doesn't give you a high effect. So I just have to be careful about choosing which one is best for my situation. Um, so if you want the best of both worlds, sativa and indica effects, um, the perfect strain for you would be hybrid. And most seeds nowadays um, and in medicine are hybrid because um, it allows cultivar cultivators a choice of different growths, appearances, and effects, stated by physicians from SC Labs. And um, also, SC Labs has brought to my attention that there's always a dominant in um, a hybrid, either indica or sativa dominant. And obviously, a sativa dominant strand would be um, increased appetite and activity levels. And indica, it would be more for relaxation and um, pain relief. So, um, have 
you guys decided which strain you prefer, whether you prefer um, expanding your creativity.